So in this problem, it says find the angle for the vector with the following components. Ax is 3 meters and Ay equals negative 4.10. So Ax, all this means is just that the vector A has an x component of 3 and a y component of negative 4.10. So how did I know to draw it in the fourth quadrant? So how you determine that is you look at this and this is positive. The x component is positive. So this is the x-axis, so you determine um, which one is positive, right? So this one is positive, because on the x-axis, the left side is negative, the right side is positive. So the x component goes right here, and the y component is negative. So the y-axis is positive here and negative here. So the y-axis, if the y component is negative and the x component is positive, that means the vector has to be in this quadrant. So I drew the vector there. Now what they want is the angle, and they gave us these two things. So the, they'll specify what angle they want, but in this one they say they start from the x-axis, and they rotate it counterclockwise until the vector. They want that angle. So it starts from the x-axis all the way until the vector. So now since we have our vector, we know that this is the angle they want, from the x-axis all the way to the vector. But the thing is, we can't use trig to find that. That's pretty hard to find. But what we can do is use this triangle right here, because this has a right angle, therefore we can use trig. So I created a triangle from this. All I did to create this triangle was use this vector as the hypotenuse. This is the y component. I just shifted this line over here for the y component, and this is the x. So this is my triangle, so now we can start doing trig. So I just labeled everything I know because uh, we need we need to find this angle, right? So they asked us to find this angle. So since we can do trig on this one, we can actually find the angle for this one. And then since we know a circle is 360 degrees, there therefore we can subtract this angle from the entire 360 to get the angle that we want, right? So I'll repeat it again. Um, we're, I'll repeat again. What we're doing is we're finding the angle for this triangle, and then since the circle is 360 degrees, we can subtract it from 360 to get this angle right here. Because the problem asks from the the angle that's from the x-axis counterclockwise until this vector. So this is the angle that we want. We're solving for this one, and then therefore that we can subtract it to get this. Okay, so now since we've got that cleared up, we can move on with our trig. So I just labeled the x-axis and y-axis from the given information. And so the angle here, the side directly opposite, will be opposite, and that this side will be adjacent, because this side is the hypotenuse. So what we do is, we, since we have two sides, we can solve for this angle. And how do we do that? Well, we look at what is opposite and adjacent, and using this expression, opposite over adjacent is going to be tangent. So the normal way we do it is tangent angle. They give us the angle, and then we solve for one of the sides. But since they've given us the sides, we actually need to do arc tangent to find this angle. So here's, here's what we do. We do arc tangent of the angle equals opposite, opposite over adjacent. And we can just plug those terms in. And then in the calculator, this is how it will appear. You do arc tangent, and then you plug in the number, and you'll get negative 53.8 if you use this negative. Now here's the thing. Now we have to think about this answer. And you should do this with all your questions. You should always, you should always stop and think about what does this answer really mean? So if we look at this, we can't really have a negative degree, right? Because negative degrees don't really exist. So we, it has to be positive. So we can just change it into a positive degree. Because here, this, this angle right here is not going to be a negative degree. It's going to be positive. So we just, we just convert that negative to positive. Or what you can do is since you know that you're finding solving for an angle, you don't even need this negative sign. You can just get rid of it, and therefore you won't accidentally confuse yourself. So if you're solving for an angle, um, you can actually get rid of the negative if you want, or just keep it and then just replace it at the end. So now we know that the angle is 53.8 degrees. 
So now, since we've found this angle, what we do is, since we know that a, a circle is 360 degrees, we can subtract uh, 360, the total uh, circle, from 53.8, this small piece, to get this piece that we're looking for. And the final answer is 306 degrees. So I hope that helped because um, I hope that helped is like uh, it's it is kind of confusing, but just replay the video again to see if um, everything makes sense. But yeah, we just since we know it's 360 degrees, we we can solve for this angle, subtract it from 360 degrees to get this angle because that's the angle they asked us to find from the x-axis counterclockwise until this. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.